Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new series and as you can imagine this is one that I am pretty excited about as you can see from the title it is my new modern Minecraft series and it's been a long time coming hasn't it um, for those of you who follow me on Twitter or on, on Feed the Beast and so on and so forth this has been a long term project that I've been working on away from videos to actually create this ultimately so we are going to be playing Feed the Beast, but it's Feed the Beast with a bit of a twist this time. As you can see down there in the bottom left, we have MMF Mod Pack 0.1.7, and this is actually 1.0.0 pre-release 1. So basically, after the last couple of modded series, I really wanted to get into something this time with 1.7 that could enable me to retain interest for a long time, but in reality... The big problem I had with my previous series was not lack of interest, it was lack of time. And I'm really hoping that this time, having my own mod pack will really spur me on to allocate more time to this. So, pretty much this is my own mod pack. I have put this entirely together myself. I have been through and done all the config stuff and so on and so forth. There's been one or two things that I have borrowed from some other people, a few config settings and whatnot, and also I've had an immense amount of help from the FTB guys and also people on the IRC to help me fix bugs and so on and so forth. So it's been also, you know, partly down to them that we have gotten to this point. Now this is a pack that you can download and play along with yourself. What you'll need is you'll need to visit the Feed the Beast website, which I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think it's www.feed-the-beast.com. And then what you'll need to do is navigate your way through that website to download a launcher. Uh, depending on what operating system you have will determine how you go about doing that. And then once you have a launcher, there is an area called third party packs as a tab. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and then enter a pack code. And there is a pack code available on the forum thread down below. I'll also make sure that there is the pack code in the video description. You can enter that and you'll be able to download this mod pack so you'll be able to play it yourself. I've created this not only for me, but also for you guys. There is a great blend of mods, and we'll talk about that a little bit more as we get into the videos. Um, I just kind of want to get some of this basic stuff out of the way now. Um, so if you guys are struggling with that, then what I'll do is I will set up a, an installation tutorial video, and um, we could take a look at exactly how all of this stuff fits together. Um, but if you do have any other questions, then you can either put them in the comments down below, and I will try my best to answer them, or alternatively, on the forum thread, if you have a Feed the Beast account, I'm also regularly checking up the forum thread over there, so you can ask questions over there as well, share screenshots, that kind of thing. So, yeah, that pretty much concludes the introduction then, I think. Um, really? There's not too much to talk about. We do have 171 mods. This is a big mod pack, so you're going to need a, a bit of a beast of a computer to run this. Um, my specs are available in the About section of my YouTube page, and I can run this pretty well. Uh, it's not too bad. It can get a little bit laggy at times, uh, but that's just the way things are. Uh, generally, the worst I experience it is when I first create a world, but after that, it usually turns down. Now, one final word before we jump in here and start playing is this is still a beta version, uh, albeit a very close to release version, because I really need to test this pack now and work out bugs and so on, so we may run into a few bugs, hiccups, that kind of thing as we go along, um, and if that's the case then I will try and fix them, there may be a few changes yet, this is sort of like the final echelon of beta um, 0.1.7. So, as you can see down there, it says 1.0.0 pre-release 1. So there'll probably be a pre-release 2, maybe even a pre-release 3. Um, and that's while I continue to update mods to stable versions, and also make some final config changes, some recipe changes, and that type of thing. I've really had a lot of control this time. So, things like recipes and that are, in some cases, mine. Not many, just a few. Like, for example, I backported some of the 1.8 stuff and that type of thing. Uh, into this version so we can actually take full advantage of those features to a degree um, but we'll get more as I say into that as we go um, I kind of 
have just talked about everything. So if the video cuts abruptly, that's mainly down to the fact that it may have crashed and that this is how I test and learn things because I don't have a great deal of time outside of videos to actually test. So <laughs> if you want to get involved though and test for me, then feel free, grab the pack. Uh, I'll be more than happy. And uh, the world will probably not break now um, because I won't be making significant changes to it. So if you want to test and report any problems you run into, then let me know on the forum thread or in a YouTube comment, and I will be periodically updating the bug tracker, which is another available thing over on the forum thread, so you can see what has been reported, if it's been fixed, if it's coming in the next version, all that type of stuff. Um, so it's been a long, hard three months, but we're there. So let's get into it, because I'm so excited. Now, one thing I have done this time that I didn't do in my previous series is actually pick a seed. Now, the reason why I did that is this pack has some important things that I would like reasonably close to the spawn point. 1.7 is the first version to feature the brand new biomes set up, which is one of the main reasons why I picked a seed. I don't want to be traveling thousands and thousands of blocks for stuff like desert because they're kind of important. There's a lot of important biomes, there's a lot of new biomes and all that type of stuff introduced. So I picked a seed out this time. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and actually create the world. And I'm going to do that off camera because it is quite laggy at the beginning and it will take a minute or two to really kick in. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create my world and I guess we could do this bit together. Um, and I'm going to call it, I don't know, uh, gosh, I think I'm just going to call it world for now. Uh, I can't really think of anything any more exciting. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I guess I could call it modded let's play or something. I don't know. Um, so let's see here. Generate structures, world type. Don't want any cheats. Don't want the bonus chest. Um, I might actually need to change this later in an NVT editor because there is some commands that we can use to view information. I'm not sure if they are classified under cheats or whether they're considered separate, like uh, dash seed is, for example. So I guess we'll change this out to Mr. and Fret was modded LP. There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and create the world. That is the seed, by the way. So that will also be down below in the description. So you can grab that if you want to use the exact world that we're going to be in. Uh, this is quite an intensive seed though. Again, if your computer is not built to handle intensive biomes, you may want to disable the biome mod or alternatively disable certain biomes within the config. Um, some of the more resource demanding ones. So yeah, just bear that in mind. So I'm going to go ahead and create this world, let it get going for a minute, and then we will be back. So I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've given it a little bit of time, let the world generate out a little bit. As you can see, we are in a lush redwoods biome uh, to begin here. I don't know how it's going to go recording. It seems a little bit jerky. Um, we'll see how it goes. If it is a bit of a problem, then we'll probably move biomes, uh, but I don't see it being a huge issue right now. So let's take a look around and explore a bit. Uh, that wasn't really good to begin. There was a bit of a lag spike there. I, oh my gosh. Um, the animals seem to be moving around fairly quickly. I think the world is still taking a little bit of time to get properly figured out, I guess. Um, there's a cave there. Why don't we head to the outskirts of this forest, make it a little bit easier on ourselves. He should die shortly. So, here we are then, this is my world, there's a skeleton over there. Uh, this is rather dangerous actually, kind of reminds me of the uh, super hostile maps. It's been a while since we've done one of those. So, are you not going to die yet? Gosh, how much health do you have? Oh, he's nearly dead. There we go. He dropped a zombie brain and some rotten flesh. So I think, before we really get into too much, we're going to have to get some wood going. Um, now all the trees here are really... oh great. All the trees here are really tall, so we're probably going to need to get some dirt, and he's going to have to leave us alone too. Hopefully he does. Uh, here's a tree that we could probably cut down. I think that skeleton has left us alone for the time being. That's laggy over there too. Um, so, i get myself some dirt here. So before we really get into 
feed the beast stuff. I think we just need to do some Minecraft stuff to begin here. Get some wood, get a base going, get some tools, that type of thing. And that'll probably be the first episode or two, to be honest. Just get in equipment and supplies, which is what we're going to need to move forward here. Now, as far as performance goes, I've already installed a tweak to this pack uh, that I cannot bundle with the actual mod pack. I wish I could, but the mod author doesn't allow it. Um, that's obviously his choice. We respect that. Uh, but basically, you can download a tweak called FastCraft uh, if you just Google search FastCraft and download it and then drop it in your mods folder. That does improve performance a little bit, particularly as far as chunk loading is concerned. Um, I think that's probably enough dirt, to be honest, to get this tree. So yeah, do bear that in mind. Um, that could help your performance a little bit. Um, ooh, what do we got here? Water artichoke seeds. How about that? So, do bear that in mind. It might help you out. It might not. Uh, I've heard for some people it doesn't really do anything, but for others it does. Uh, I wouldn't recommend Optifine with this pack. Uh, there's probably a lot of things that would cause issues with it. So, that's one... Probably to avoid this time. Uh, as I say, there's such a lot going on that I don't think Optifine would really mesh too well. Feel free to give it a try, but I won't be supporting anything with Optifine on it. Um, I will support anything, though, that has Fastcraft on it, because I do have that in my development environment. And it is actually something that I and the Feed the Beast team recommend that you have, so I will be supporting anything like that. So, yeah. Um talking of sort of starting out things uh, unfortunately we did miss the taken inventory achievement there's actually a bug with it right now I think in forge where it actually doesn't show up but if you hit the achievements menu it does also I'm not going to get uh, the getting wood achievement from this tree as it's not actually uh, specified and speaking of which oh it's a fir tree so I have that tooltip up there. Um, now one thing I've done this time that may look different from my other videos is the GUI scale is actually a lot smaller. And the reason for that is there are certain things that I'm going to want to access that have GUIs that are too big for the large GUI scale. So I've had to turn it down a little bit. Um, hopefully that's not too much of a problem. It actually should make things a little bit better um, as far as the viewing perspective goes. I do want the... Um, the tooltip up there because it is handy but if it is annoying let me know and I will turn it off um, we'll see how it goes I guess but I, I like it so yeah what else can we talk about then well we're starting out here uh, I'm I guess we could talk a little bit about the mod list I had so much to talk about and have kind of forgotten half of it uh, no doubt I'll remember as the episodes go on um, so as far as mods go there will be a full mod list on the forum thread that you can view. Um, obviously the one that we can see so far that is obvious is the Extra Biomes Excel mod. I kind of prefer this one to Biomes of Plenty, so that's why we have it. I really, really like these Redwood Forests, which is why I chose to have our spawn in one. Um, now, even though I picked a seed, I just picked a seed that had a few basic amenities near the spawn. Uh, so, for example, I don't know of specific locations of dungeons, for example, or uh, sort of modded structures and that type of thing. I just wanted to look for a seed that has a good variety of biomes. That was really, really important to me. Um, so I have some wood now. I'm probably going to want to get some tools going. There is some pigs around, so I could get some food, potentially. For those, we're going to need to get a farm going, a bed would be ideal. And do I want to live on this hill? Aha, this is going to be a problem, I'm sure. The problem with living on this hill is going to be that it's kind of high up, but it would mean more digging. Not necessarily a bad thing. Oops, textile garden, eh? Oh yeah, so we have NEI too. That's actually one thing I need to set up really, really quick um, that I did not look at. Uh, inventory we want to be in recipe mode for the world so now let's just select green wool yeah it shows us the crafted recipe and it does not give us items don't want none of that cheat situation I believe this gives you string yes it does how about that there's some more over there too maybe we should go run and grab those um, I kind of want to live in the forest but at the same time I don't because I'm gonna be overrun by monsters all the time 
Uh, but I, I don't know. Can I harvest these? I guess not. Uh, maybe we need a tool for that. I'm not sure. So yeah, as per usual, I know next to nothing about modded Minecraft. I never seem to learn anything about it. Ooh, interesting looking wooden planks. Um, oh, you know what? <laughs> I need to get myself a real tree uh, to get the getting wood achievement. And I don't want to have to remake everything later. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now um, while I think about it. I'll just grab this tree here. I hope we're doing okay on daylight. You know, I felt the frames go there. Um, and I'll put it back, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, there is inventory refilling too. I don't know, I think that is either any eye or maybe something else. Um, the way I want to play this series, as I say, is kind of just to experiment with the mods really and, and play around. I don't have a particular game plan in mind. Um, I think for now though we need to focus on the Minecraft stuff rather than the modded stuff. Um, really all the way up to getting the ender dragon but obviously we'll do some modern stuff in between that things like setting up machines and all that type of stuff so that's actually plenty of wood for now so I'm not gonna get any more of that I do see a zombie over there you know what I, I need to make another workbench now just so that I get that and I'm actually gonna make a wooden sword because there's so many mobs around normally I wouldn't so I don't need an axe for the moment because I don't have any more tree cutting needs. Um, there we go. So there's plenty of pigs around, so I'm probably going to kill a few of these um, just to get some basic food. I do think sheep drop mutton. I believe a mod adds that. I know it's in 1.8. There we go, monster hunter. Nice. So we've got some rotten flesh. I believe you can actually turn that into food too by smelting it in a furnace. So. Maybe living in this uh, forest is not so bad. We're also going to need to look around for a good cave as well. Um, that's probably going to help determine where I put my house eventually. Uh, what have we got here? Some exposed stone. That wouldn't be so bad. Get some of that early on. I'm just going to get enough to make a uh, stone pick for now. And let me see here. So I'm also going to keep an eye out for any more of those textile gardens that would help immensely in getting a bed. Because um, I don't see any sheep. So I'm going to stick with the wooden saw for now. The old wooden bat uh, before upgrading I think to something else. Mushroom garden. Interesting. So we've got some mushrooms. Maybe we could make mushroom soup out of that. Is it Decent cave there. Spider over there. Might want to kill him for string. Ooh, it looks like there is a, a ruin over there. It's becoming night time. It's kind of floating in the sky though. The obsidian pillar there. I think that has... Yeah, see that? There's witch spawners in that, so we're going to leave that alone for now. And, uh, oh boy, hello. Now, speaking of these guys, actually, one of the mods I installed was called Creeper Collateral. Now, Creeper Collateral is a very special mod because it actually means that if a creeper blows up, all the blocks that were destroyed I get back, which is so much better. That was the thing that's annoying about them, is that you never get enough dirt back to fill the hole in. And I think I might just have to dip in a hole here, folks, honestly, and we'll spend some more time looking around, because it's not looking too great. The forest is getting pretty intense, and I've... I guess I'm just going to barricade myself in here for now. I didn't really check to see if there was anything in here with me. No. I don't have any coal to make any torches with. I do have stone, so I could make a furnace. How are we doing here? We don't quite have enough string, do we? Damn. We're a little bit sure. I'm probably going to try and go for a bed, almost certainly. I apologize for the darkness here, too. So I guess one other topic to talk about. There's a couple of things still yet. 
Uh, I'm going to make a furnace here though first. Um, and the main reason I want to do that is to get some food going. Uh, do I want to do food or torches? I think I want to do food. Now I can cook this, I believe, and I get uh, something called zombie jerky by doing that. Um, right, okay. Oh no, I get leather. <laughs> okay. Um, kind of handy, but kind of not, so I'll make the... Uh... Hello. I'll make... Um... Cook pork chops. Gosh, I'm trying to think here. I was in the middle of about to say something, but um, I ended up getting distracted with that. Hey, you, come here. No, oh no, not you. Not the Enderman. I don't want the Enderman. Yeah. There's one string, so that means I'm one short. I need another spider. Can I get another spider? I'm going to be careful I don't die. I don't really want that to happen. There's a spider here. Next to a zombie. I think I can handle the zombie. Oh, but I can't handle a skeleton though. Oh, they're infighting. Excellent. Well, you have a fun time up there. Did I get string off him? Yeah, I did. I've got three now. I'm gonna have to brave it. Take him on. There we go. I've got a skeleton head. That's interesting. Uh, so where was my hole at? I need to get back there now. So I don't have any food, I'm starving to death, and I'm about to run out of sprint power too. I think it was here. Nope, it was not. Damn it. <laughs> uh, where's my home? Oh boy. I'm probably going to die here. Um, I'm not happy about it, but I've not really got any other choice at this moment in time. Because I don't know where my home is at. See, it was not near the edge of the forest. And look at all of those zombies and that skeleton down there. Uh, do I have my other workbench from there? I do. So I could hypothetically just hole in. Uh, oh. Yeah, we're, we're holding in for now. Um... At least want to make a few things here. So I can make a bed, not that it's going to do anything for me. Uh, I can make some food. More slabs, huh? I don't really want to make those right now. So yeah, um, on the topic of mod stuff, uh, you'll see we have this welcome book. So this welcome book actually is significant. Um, basically that just gives you a bunch of introductory info. Uh, let me know if you want me to read it. Um, I probably won't for now uh, because it's not really super important. It's all about just books that you would get and that type of thing from um, mods and whatnot. Let's try and get some health back at the very least. If we can regen again, that would help. In fact, I guess while we do that, we can take a quick read. So all this is is a... Uh, you know, telling you about it, um, information and all that type of stuff, searching for books, um, you want to change config files to actually get them in your world and that type of thing, you've got all of that information there. The, the reason I chose not to give you books is because there were so many of them, your inventory would be full of them by the time you actually loaded up the world and it was kind of messy, so I decided not to do that. And instead, I just went with a general multi-purpose book uh, from the mod, mod pack tweaks. So, all good. All good indeed. I'm going to pick up this now. At least we're back up to full health again. That helps. Now, there was a zombie here. Yeah, he's over there. I think I'm about to run into another skeleton. There's some coal in here. Damn. There's a lot of things lurking right above me. I'm not universally happy about it, but... Let's just stay here for now. 
and sleep. <laughs> Let's just do that. Uh, if we could do that and get to the morning, then that would help. Oh, I already have a bed. That's right. Probably gonna get monsters nearby. Uh, whoops. Oh no. Oof. Got a lag spike there. Right, now we have daytime again, we can actually search for stuff. So, on the topic of mods, I actually chose four themes for this pack, and I sort of sorted the mods we have. They are adventure, magic, technology, and miscellaneous. So, there's a lot of adventure type mods, stuff like extra biomes excel, roguelike dungeons, that type of thing. There's also a fair share of magic mods, stuff like... Thorncraft, the usuals, um, technology based, there is the regulars, build craft, industrial craft, thermal expansion, all that good stuff. And the sort of miscellaneous mods, the things like random things. Um, oh, great. Um, also, extra utilities, open blocks, all that type of stuff is sort of random. Doesn't really fit into anything, but it's still pretty cool nonetheless. Now I need to find my house again. Uh, well, it wasn't really a house, was it? More of a place of residence. And there's that skeleton again, damn. There was that... that tree. Oh, this is where I was. There's a zombie there with a helmet on. I really need to find that stuff, because it had food, which is the most valuable thing. Maybe it was right here? Gosh. Now that was the deep hole that we saw, and I think I kind of went back this way a little bit. Yeah, I seem to recall that uh, that creature that's not attacking us. So as far as episodes go for this, I am probably going to be doing longer type episodes, certainly longer than my LP, uh, mainly just because it takes a while to get into this type of thing. Uh, I really make some solid progress in the video. But I'm going to aim maybe for once, possibly twice a week. Uh, depends how I cut up the videos. Um, but do expect them to be a bit longer. Sometimes they may be half an hour, other times they could push towards an hour. Um, that's just the way the nature of this is. Um, oh, is this my home? Or is this where I already was? Oh, this is my home. Excellent. Yeah. No, I don't want to put down a bed. Okay, so now that we've done that, we've got some proper food at last that I can eat. I'm gonna get fully healed up here. I'm gonna get some stone, and then we'll probably head out and look for a cave to explore. So all in all, an interesting first night. It's dark again. Yay. Uh, that's not too bad, though. I'm gonna try and remember. There was a person in the comments, and I forget their name in my LP, that told me to use a brightness filter, and I always forget to do that. Um, I'll try and do it here, though. So overall, I've I've really enjoyed putting the pack together. I'm really looking forward to playing it. You know, sometimes you do all this work, and all you want to do is actually play it, and I've not actually played it too much, aside from testing mods and things like that. Um, just putting stuff down and even that was kind of uncommon mainly it was just launching it making sure you could create a world and that type of thing so you know it's finally good to be actually playing this so yeah let's pick this up before I break that I want to make a stone sword for sure that's kind of an unconventional way of crafting it um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some shovels too more well, a shovel and probably another pick so pick and shovel excellent so I think that was one of the custom crafting recipes I implemented was creating leather from smelting zombie flesh uh, there is a way of getting the zombie jerky I'm just not totally sure what it is right now I'm gonna grab a couple more of these guys while I have the opportunity um, Let's see if I can get some seeds too. I'm getting random seeds, not really the seeds I want. What's that one? Mandrake. I would like wheat or barley, preferably. Um, I am somewhat familiar with 
There's regular seeds. I am somewhat familiar with Pam's Harvest Craft from my previous series. Uh, the, the intention this time... Oh, a carrot. Yes. It's good. Nice. Uh, my intentions for this are going to be to really get into it this time. Perhaps unlike what we've done before. Uh, hopefully we can get a series that lasts more than 10 episodes or whatever it is that usually lasts. Um, if it doesn't work out this time, I probably am just going to give up, uh, honestly, because this is like the fourth time I've tried this now. But I think we'll do it this time. I'm really, really confident, honestly. So what I'd like to kind of do now is, is do a little bit of exploration. And kind of pick out a spot to make a new home. Uh, well, my first home in this world. I probably will not stay in one place. Uh, I don't know what happened there. I harvested it, but I never got it. I, I probably won't be staying in one place. Um, we'll see. I will have bases across multiple dimensions. I mean, there's so much cool stuff I've put in this that we're going to do. We can go to space. We can go to magical dimensions, to the twilight forest. We can make our own dimensions with Miscraft. We're going to be doing programming with computer craft and probably some other mods. I know one that Xbony recommended to me was Computronics. Um, now, nah, here we go. This looks like a good cave. Um, so we've got stuff there to mess around with. There is magic. Uh, enchantment is a lot better. Um, and sheep. Very happy about that. Want me some sheep. Uh, <laughs> there's just so much great stuff, guys. Honestly, I am really... I guess the word is hyped. Uh, I don't really get hyped about stuff, but man, we're going to be doing some cool stuff, and we're going to be getting really, really OP. Uh, we're going to have stuff that's going to destroy the vanilla things. Um, we're going to have everything. It's going to be great. Going to need a little bit of ramp up time, of course, but you know, it's not. It's not the end of the world to kind of have to endure that. I mean, it's kind of fun. And also, there's a lot of new things to check out early on as well. New ores to mine. Uh, I don't have any coal, which could kind of make this whole predicament here more difficult. There's a zombie in there. Do I see any coal, though? I see iron. Oh. Looks like there's a structure over there with a spider. Oh, a potato. I want that. I'm actually gonna whip down my workbench really quick here and make a chest. I guess I could have stacked that, huh? Because I want to throw a bunch of stuff into this chest while I go and take that out. And I'm also gonna want to put my furnace down. I assume you could do this in the same way. Um, you can make charcoal from the wood that we can get because I'm going to need that to make some torches. I have a feeling that's just a vanilla dungeon, but it still doesn't make it any less easy to deal with. Spined zombie, huh? He's up there. I kind of want to check that out too. I hear that named mobs might drop like loot bags or something. So maybe we should check him out. Depends where he is. Is he up here in the forest? If he's underground, I'm not going to be able to get him, but... He says he should be right here. He's underground. I hear him. No, I don't think we're going to find him. Oh, wait, here we go. Here's a cave. I'm going to move around this ore for now. I don't really know what it is or if I can mine it. I just want to get this zombie at the moment. That's all I'm focused on. Oh, gosh. Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> it does thorns damage. Oh, man, I have no armor either. There's a way out here, though. How much... Oh my gosh. That's such a lot of health, too. Not really sure if I'm in a winning position or not here. 
There's a zombie there. He just looks like a regular one. I'm gonna get back to this here. And my charcoal. And we'll leave the spine zombie alone for now. There's a spine. Ow. There's a zombie dungeon. There's a skeleton. main concern at the moment is actually the skeleton. Can you not climb the chest? Yeah. What do we got in here? Ooh, ender pearls? Fancy things. Oh, God! <laughs> oh. Nuke virus? The ender? I'm kind of nervous to look at this now. Increased skull and ender pearl drops. How about that? There's a lot of damage too. Same as an iron sword. And I assume it's like enchantable maybe too. I'm gonna block that off for now. Oh, it's all good to be starting out again in Minecraft. Especially when I don't know what's coming. That spine zombie's still around. Maybe we can take him out. Oh, it is night time again. I can drop my bed though now. I guess I'll just throw it down here for the time being. I really want to take out that spine zombie, see what he drops. But I fear it might be too difficult with the fact I have no armor on. Where did he go? He's above us now. Oh, maybe up in here? Some weird stuff in here. Nah, he's despawned. Dang it. Oh, well. We'll probably run into more of those named guys. Oh, wait. No, he's not. He's just down here. Probably along with a million other zombies. I thought that was diamond in the wall then for a minute. I was just like, diamond at this level? I must have made a config mistake, that's for sure. Oh my, okay. This is a good cave, there's no doubt about that. But... Dangerous as hell. That's a regular zombie, that's the spined one. Take it easy, I should be okay. Yeah, rave, I like it. Shake that head. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> God, I'm kind of done with this clown. Oh, have you got yourself stuck now, bud? Oh dear. Oh. Oh, we killed him. And he dropped a loot bag. Common treasure. Oh, look at that. It shows up in the chat. Nice. What mod is this from? Thorncraft. Gold coins. Oh, that's it. That's all we got. Gold coins. Not bad though, not bad. That was worthwhile. Um, so this is a potential cave spot. I have my other area near the zombie spawner, which I probably want to begin with. Uh, this area here. And I guess for now, let's just secure this place up a bit. I'm gonna fill that up. Just leave a little hole there so I can see if it's daytime. Some gravel. Magnetite ore. Here's some iron. So, I do have dirt for a change to make a farm with. That's unusual. Bones. Um, so what I could potentially do here is, here, let's just drop this stuff off for now and I can sort that out later. I can get a farm going at some point. I'm probably gonna cook this up for now. I should run in low on wood again. Hmm. God, this is so exciting though, isn't it? I hope you're in ex enjoying it as much as I am. Because, man, this is exciting. 
I'm hyped, as they say. <laughs> ah! <laughs> ah! Gosh. Well, damn. <laughs> What's that there? Ooh, a rock hive. Nice. I'm gonna calm down. I'm getting too excited. Uh, there's another one of these. Ooh! Okay, let's... I'm dying here. Let's calm this down a little bit. Here we go. What is that? Coal? Looks different. Some iron around. I kind of just want to get some initial torches in here. Or oh, skeleton, that could be perilous. I think he's in an adjoining cave there. Get some light down in here. This goes every way possible. Wow, look at all these different ores that we've got to mine. I don't even know what half of these do yet. Some water down there. I've got a little bit more coal. So I can go a little further. Definitely want to get on the better food situation soon though. Rubies? Probably make a good sword out of that. Um, probably need iron though to mine it, I would have thought. Speaking of the stuff, let's grab this here. So probably do a little bit of initial cave in here and then maybe call that an episode. I think we've been going for almost 40 minutes now, so... We've done a, some things. What's this then? Magenta fluorite from Reactor Craft. I seem to recall that stuff. I think we've encountered that before. Now this osmium, I believe, you can make into good armor that's actually better than iron. I mean, I know some stuff, but not in depth. It's just stuff that I have heard and, and that type of thing. Not really messed around with too much. Yellow fluorite. I don't know what any of this stuff does, but I'm going to roll with it for now. Calcite. This used to be involved in the making of leather from Rotten Flesh, but you just have to smelt it now, it seems. Oop. Can I get all of that from up in there? Yeah, I guess I'll clear this out too. Let me some gravel. So what's that, nickel? Can I mine that? Yeah, I can. Love that tool refill. Um, hmm, I just heard something fall. Got an experience. More coal in the ground. Air infused stones. Definitely going to need to get some backpacks going if we're going to be doing any serious caving almost straight away. Although that should be easier now though, because we could just smelt rotten flesh into leather and we do have that zombie spawner, so I have infinite rotten flesh. I'm still dying, I really need to get on the food bar situation. Be alright though soon, we'll have some real food. So I do want to have a real good go at getting really decked out uh, in this because there is lots and lots of better weapons and tools and so on and so forth. I believe towards end game we'll be even past stuff like enchantment. We won't even need that anymore. Tools and that are that good. You get to like quantum armor and things like that. I don't know a whole lot about that, um, but I do know it exists. So let's collect this and Probably going to do a little bit of caving off camera too. Uh, kind of do an initial swoop. Just get some supplies going, make some armor, that type of stuff. Uh, I know that I could save it for machines and whatnot and be really efficient about it, but with the area that we have, I think that it's not going to be such a worry. So I'm just going to kind of press on and get my basic equipment together, vanilla style first. So, yes, let's. Let's get this. A lot of calcite here. It still seems a little bit on the choppy side as far as the frame rate goes. The frame rate is good, like I'm getting in the hundreds, but sometimes it'll drop to 50, 
particularly when I move. Um, so it's kind of hit and miss. Let me know what you guys think in the, in the comments how the video was. It's probably a bit choppy. I might be able to work something out with that. Um, I may just have to move to another biome to solve it long term. But maybe we'll find a nice new area. Uh, perhaps one of the other nice biomes. But I did want to start out in the in the lush redwoods, mainly because I love the planks that the redwood trees drop. Um, well, they don't drop, you make. Um, they look so nice. It's like jungle wood done properly. <laughs> and we'll probably build some stuff out of that. I do intend to do plenty of building, plenty of machine making, a bit of magic here and there. Uh, you know, a bit of everything. That's what this pack is, you know, and I want to mess around with everything, if I can, that I put in it. I don't know how that's really going to go. Um, I know that Minecraft 1.8 is out and this is 1.7, but I'm not worried about that because 1.7 mods are still only stabilizing out, and it's been a year since 1.7 came out. And I'm not in any hurry to upgrade to the latest versions because 1.8, from what I read, sounds like it's going to be really hard for modders to update to. So they're going to need to do all of that stuff, get their mods tested and worked out and all that type of thing. Before we even get anywhere near a stage where we can actually play a mod pack on 1.8 or a future version. So I'm going to be keeping on this for as long as I possibly can. Uh, we might even get over a year out of this. Uh, maybe I'm going to try and keep the same world, but I'm not sure how that's going to go. We'll see. I'm going to need some more picks and whatnot here uh, to really get into this. We already have plenty of coal though, so that's good. So I'm going to make myself a couple more picks. I'm going to get this coal in the furnace. Get some proper food out. Whoops. I don't even know what I would have made, to be honest. Coal in a furnace, huh? And I want to get this iron actually cooking up. So, I need some food, some proper food again, and get healed up. Got plenty more ores to mine. Uh, I don't really want anything out of this for right now. So, this mossy stone here, um, you can actually craft this. This is something I know I added. Uh, this is the 1.8 recipe brought back. So,. Keep an eye out for a few of those. I believe the, yeah, see here? This isn't a furnace, but I've made a crafting recipe here. Uh, this is back ported. Um, this one is, and, and things like that. Also, uh, Extra Biomes XL actually adds the 1.8 door support, so you can craft doors in stacks of three. And also, you will be able to uh, stack them up to 64. So, pretty cool all around, I'd say. Lots of the more useful features from 1.8 sort of backported. Obviously, we don't have things like guardians and all that sort of stuff, but we do have some of the, the recipe changes and whatnot, which I thought was important. Um, we don't have, like, the new stones, though, or anything like that. Not that I'm really going to miss them. Uh, <laughs> I, aside from the andesite, I mean, I just get tons of the other ones and never use them. There's a cave to check out over there. Got some more iron here to mine. Or one iron. And... Right, there's this coal here. Maybe we'll clear out this initial area and then we'll call it for today. So yeah, we'll see how things go. I think I'm going to try and put this out maybe Mondays and Thursdays because NPM, the uh, vanilla, is obviously Wednesdays and Saturdays, so can't use those days really. Um, but maybe we'll we'll have some stuff on other days. Uh, I'm thinking to kind of space things out. Monday and Thursday would be best for that. Zinc from Flaxbeard Steam Power. That was a user suggested mod. Well, you know what? I didn't even talk about any of that, did I? Uh, if you have a mod that you know, say if you play modded Minecraft and there is a, a cool mod that is either in another mod pack or just something you played, then let me know on the forum thread. Uh, I take suggestions for this mod pack, although it's now going to be on a bit of a waiting list while I stabilize the pack out. But for updates and so on and so forth, I'm still very interested to hear what you guys have in terms of suggestions and whatnot. So, 
yeah, let me know. I'm always interested because I'm not an expert at this stuff. I always used to think this was lodestone. Uh, it is lodestone. It's just called magnetite ore here. Interesting. I don't know why that is, but cool nonetheless. So, let's pick up this stuff. Did I get the iron in the main room here? No. There's some lodestone to go with it. Ooh, big vein of iron. That's good. So maybe next episode we will do a little bit more exploring, see what's around. Um, I'm having a feeling that probably once we've done caving here um, and setting up a small base, we may want to move somewhere else where I can actually survive with better frame rate. I, I have a feeling that the longer it goes on, the more increased problem it's going to become. So having a good scout around to see what's out there may be a, a good move, I think, to do. We'll see. I mean, when I'm not recording, it's fine, but obviously when I am recording is the most important time, so we want to make sure that we get that right if we can. Get some copper. Some more iron over there. So, there was a cave around here that I don't think I finished exploring. Some lava on that one. Not here. Maybe it was back here. No, we cleared this out. It went down and then it dead ended and I was collecting that coal and maybe it was this. I wasn't able to finish collecting it. Seems familiar. Yeah, this is the one. This is the one. I was collecting this copper here actually. Oh boy, a spine skeleton. I want another one of them. Although I would like his goodie bag. <laughs> Maybe when we've got some bit better equipment. I think if I had some iron armor on, I'd be okay to take him on. But for right now, definitely not. We got lucky so far that we haven't died to anything. We've had a couple of close encounters early on. So I very much like starting off for your first time in Minecraft because there's a lot of stuff that I have not done. And there's new ways of doing things, so it'll be a learning curve, that's for sure. All right, so we've got some iron here. I have a little bit more, I think, that I collected. Yeah, I've got another nine. Should probably fill this in. Ugh. Yeah, I'm not confident about the frame situation. Here we go. Oh, what was that? You've just made a a useless ingot. Very nice. Um, I guess we'll make a chest plate first and foremost. Always going to be handy. A sickly zombie, eh? I love the no. I love the mob names. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna give that one a miss for now. Uh, I don't think you can harvest that with stone. Mm, no, it doesn't look like it. So we'll need a iron pick for that. So I'm probably going to go ahead and actually make an iron pick now so that I can get those rubies as well. So yeah, I think we're kind of coming towards the end of the episode here, folks, to be honest. Um, we've done a lot today. A lot of the kind of initial things uh, that we have to do, so... I think this might be a good time to end it. And off camera, really all I'm going to do is probably maybe do a little bit of crop farming, possibly. Uh, we might do that next time. Ooh, sapphires too. Gonna get me some decent tools. So yeah, things like that. Uh, maybe a little bit more caving around here. Just getting that basic stuff out of the way, get myself tools, uh, armor, that kind of, the stuff that you've seen all the time, essentially. And we've already done a lot of that, you know, we've done the first tree and whatnot, so. I'm sure that few were predicting that in my modded series the first tree had 30 odd wood blocks in it. I'm glad I didn't try to tear down one of those redwoods though, they take forever. 
Uh, I think I spent about 10 minutes with an iron axe tearing one of those town once, so we're going to need to set up something more automatic if we're going to deal with those in bulk volume, so... Although I kind of want this zombie spawner here, actually. Though I've heard... I'm not going to try it now, but I've heard... Yeah, you can harvest them and move them with a certain mod. You can make something called a powered spawner. Um, which is basically like a redstone activated spawner. It's just really cool. I'm going to have to mess around with that. Seven of each of those. So I could probably make... Uh, can I make armor out of those? No. Probably only tools. Like pickaxe. Yeah, you can only make tools with those. I'm not going to mess around with that for now. Ruby gem from Rotary Craft, huh? Anyway, um, I'm gonna probably do some organization as well and that type of stuff off camera. But next episode, we will reconvene and probably do a little bit more caving, maybe some exploring, and we'll kind of assess the situation from there. So, I hope you've enjoyed today's first episode, guys, and I hope to see you next time. So, until then, see you later and have a good day. Thank <laughs> you.